yeah uh, today's topic is creation of virtual mission on vmware windows 7 os here with 4 gb ram and 500 gb hard disk by using infrastructure as a service here for doing this one here here i think we have some idea about the virtualization creating the virtual missions here what is our virtual mission here how can you create the virtual mission and then the vmware windows 7 how can you start first start the virtual mission from the file menu select the create virtual mission and then choose to install the operating system later that means selecting the install the operating system later and then click next and then fourth step here is a here not a linux here windows windows as the guest that means you are creating the virtual mission that virtual mission you call it as a guest os here then choose windows 7 as a version and then fifth step here is a for provide a virtual mission name and then location here for doing that one you have to install the vmware after installing the vmware open the vmware software here how can you open the vmware here yeah here is the vmware here for doing this one you have to create the vmware that means i am creating i cannot open why because previously opened the vmware it struck the system here uh, first uh, i am going to create in the new virtual vision as a windows 7 the second program this one windows 7 here select the custom that means the create a virtual mission with advanced options such as scss controller type and then virtual disk type and compatibility with the order vmware product here first create the that means select the virtual mission and then select the custom tab here next here you will have the virtual missions like this here windows uh, 15x vmware compatibility here go to next here the limitations are there 64 gb ram and then 16 processors and then 10 some limitation here having here no need to touch that one and then go to next here what is the thing here guest operating system installation here how can you guest operating system installation here that means installer disk in the sense if you have in the any information on your disk or installer disk image if you have in the image that means operating system uh, having the some image that means no need to install that one directly click on image then the direct from that uh, location you will direct directly access the virtual mission that is a second case here third case here i am going to the third case here from the vm where i am going to installing the uh, windows 7 operating system here i will install the operating system later the virtual mission will be created with the blank hard disk here that means you are going to create in the virtual machine here here click on next that means click i will the third step this one click on next here here in this case here you have to select the guest operating system here here which operating system will, will be installed on a virtual machine that means you have a different operating systems are there here here you have a microsoft windows first one and then Linux operating system. Yesterday I discussed about the Linux operating system, VMware, ESX, and then some of the other operating systems are there. These are all some other operating system, Solaris, and then free, like this. Here, the first one here is a Windows operating system, the Microsoft Windows operating system. Here you have a n number of versions are there, Windows 10. Here, already in my, in my system, Windows 10 are working. Here, that means Windows 10, 8, Windows 8, and then Windows 7, 64-bit uh, operating system. That means 64-bit system, you will use a Windows 7. Here, the simply Windows 7 for the 32-bit. And then Vista, Windows Vista, and then Windows XP. That means you will install the any one of the operating system, or you will select any one of the operating system. For our uh, syllabus, for our case here, I am taking the Windows 7 as a virtual operating system or guest operating system. I am selecting the Windows 7 as a guest operating system here. Here, click on next. Here, the, uh, another step here is a, the fourth step in this case. What is the fourth step here? The fourth step here, here is a 
click on next virtual mission name here you have to provide the virtual mission name and then the location here where the mission will be stored on the windows post and default are fine here here that means if you have the default information that is fine here what is the default information virtual mission name that means windows server i cannot change that value here you may change the value also here and then location that means the location here is a some documents virtual mission windows server in the virtual mission i am going to installing the windows 7 here uh, no problem that means as it is you will work out and then click on next here it will launch the processors uh, that means maximum number of processors here you are using 16 i already previously at the time of creation it's having that means i am using only one processor here here the number of the cores for processor the total number of processor that means here uh, that means the processor configuration one here click on next here the memory for the virtual mission you have to select the memory here the virtual mission memory will take the 1 1 1 gb 1 gb mb 1024 1gb is, is it 1gb in the sense 1024 on gb memory enough here that means uh, in our uh, consideration um, 4 gb 4 gb in the sense uh, 40 something 4000 um, 124 24 24 um, 4000 more than 4000 why because at 10000 1000 in the sense um, 2 power uh, how many bits here that's a 10 power 3 10 power 3 2 power 3 2 power 10 2 power number of bits 2 power uh, 10 in the sense 1000 1000 2 to power 10 2 power 10 into mb 1 gb here 1 gb that means i am selecting the ram size here is a 1 gb here here memory for the virtual machine here i am selecting the 1 gb ram and then here uh, you will use a use use network address translation and yet the you use as it is uh, next uh, next okay recommended one and then recommended one sc si that means select the disk type this type of disk you are using here that means what kind of disk you want to create the next and then create a virtual machine here i am going to create in that means the selection of disk virtual machine here the selection of disk capability the maximum size here 60 gb here recommended for the windows 7 60 gb that means they, they are, in our uh, program they asked about the 500 gb hard disk 500 gb hard disk but i am selecting the only 60 gb or you may increase the value Uh, up to 500 gb no problem uh, next and then here the windows here specify the disk file uh, you may specify the file name and then finish if you click the finish here it will create the virtual machine here click on finish it will create the virtual machine this is a second program here in this way you will